Do you know there's a secret skill to unlocking the true potential of ChatGPT that can make you over $300,000 every year? That secret is prompt engineering. In the next few minutes, I'll explain how you can create your own prompts to make the best use of ChatGPT and also give you my top 4 prompts that can help you in getting started. Hey guys, I'm Maghan here. Welcome to the channel where we discuss everything related to money, investments and taxes. I am sure you have used ChatGPT by now and you are either really impressed by its potential or you are critical of what it is. In both cases, you must admit that this technology is a game changer for sure. But here's the problem. The quality of answers from ChatGPT depends completely on the questions that we have posed. And not a lot of people have actually tried to learn to do this. Instead, we either give basic questions to ChatGPT and get okay responses or we try and get ready-made prompts from Reddit and Discord and other forums instead of creating our own. But as more prompt-based AI tools enter the market, people who can actually create these prompts will be more in demand. In fact, I recently came across a job posting that asks for prompt engineers and is paying up to $335,000 for your skills. The company is even admitting that prompt engineering is less than two years old, so all you need to do is Prove that you are willing to learn and have a portfolio to show and you can apply for the position. So what exactly is prompt engineering? Who better to explain than ChatGPT itself? I asked Chat if it could explain prompt engineering as if I was a 10 years old. And I am not kidding. It gave me the simplest and yet the most complete answer for what prompt engineering is. So here's the response. Have you ever played with Legos or building blocks before? Imagine you have a bunch of different blocks with different shapes and sizes and you want to build something cool with them, like a tower or a spaceship. Now, let's say you are in a race with your friends to see who can build the tallest tower the fastest. That's where prompt engineering comes in. It's like a set of instructions or a plan that tells you the best way to put the blocks together to build the tower as quickly and efficiently as possible. Just like building a tower with blocks, prompt engineering is a way to figure out the best and most efficient way to do something. So once we understand what prompt engineering is, we can try to create our own versions. There are, I'm sure, different ways of creating prompts, but I am going to tell you what I had the most success with. Before going to chat for any answers, I posed myself these questions. What do I want as an end result of the conversation? What is the goal of that prompt? Then I would try to figure out the boundaries and limits for that output. Remember, end results and goals are two different things here. Let's see this in an example. So for the first prompt, let's ask chat to explain a difficult concept for us. If we go to chat and ask what is Web3, this is how most of the people would give a prompt. With this prompt, you will get a generic response for the concept of Web3. And that is it. So here is your response with all the technical nitty gritty that can come out of a bot. Now, let's go one step forward and use our framework for this. We can tell chat our goal and we can set a boundary. So now our prompt would be, I am writing a short explanation on Web3. I need your help to explain the concept in layman's term. This explanation is for non-technical people. In light of this information, please explain Web3. Here, our goal is to explain Web3. Our end result is that short explanation. Our limitation is that our audience is non-technical. Now look, the response has clearly improved. With this response, you can see that chat went out of the way to explain the critical terms. We can dumb down the content even more. I can tell chat if my audience was 10 years old children. For this, chat has now converted a complex problem into something that most school going kids would understand. But this is only the beginning. For prompt number two, we can make this prompt even better and tell chat GPT to be an expert in the field. But before I tell you the second prompt, I have a request. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos and it would help me a great deal if you could press the like button. So back to the video. I am sure you would have seen this before where people can ask chat to be an expert in a field. But what we are trying to do is so much better. The framework that we used earlier, I am going to build on that and provide chat with as many limitations as I can at the same time. I will tell ChatGPT to ask me questions relating to my objective so that the end result is as personalized and as detailed as it could be. So I'm starting my prompt by saying that you are an expert in running a social media management company. You have a proven track record of managing brands in the digital arena and you specialize in social media. I'm looking to start my own social media management company 
and get new clients. So here's the trick that has helped me get so much better responses. You add these lines in the prompt. You tell chat that your task is to help me find a niche to start with and guide me through the process of starting a social media management company. Make sure to ask me questions before you answer to understand my exact requirements better and improve the quality of your response. Now, if you look at the response from chat, you can see that it wants to know my requirements. This way we can train the bot to answer our queries in a much more personal way rather than getting those generic responses that everyone else is getting. You can obviously tell chat about your profile and strengths and if you have researched the niche and what are your areas of interest. For example, I added that I am a CPA with over a decade of experience in financial planning and analysis and I have a small YouTube channel. Using that information, chat gave me a couple of options. From here, you can take this conversation as deep as you want. You can share the insights you already have about the niches or the industries and you can get personalized responses every time. With all these details in the prompt, I am sure you would like the answer you will get or at least it will be an inspiration for the next step. By the way, tell me in the comments what are your secret ways of getting the best out of ChatGPT. Okay, so let's move on to the third example. Imagine a situation where you are writing an essay or an article or you just want to understand a concept in detail you would want to get a different perspective on the existing beliefs. So today, I was writing an article for Medium on a concept from Stoics that says that we should only focus on what we can control. By the way, in case you are interested, the Stoics were a group of ancient philosophers who lived in Greece and Rome over 2000 years ago. So I went to ChatGPT and asked for a different perspective by using everything we already used in the previous examples. That is what my prompt was. You are a renowned philosopher, researcher and writer with many books on Stoics. One of their beliefs was that we should only focus on things that we can control, such as our own thoughts, feelings and actions. And we should not worry about things that are outside our control, such as other people's opinions or the weather. Can you offer a different perspective on this topic that challenges this belief and provokes further thoughts? Based on our prompts, Chad gave me an entirely different perspective on the same thoughts. I didn't have to do research for this. Chad has already given me the ideas that can now be used as discussion points in my article. Part of the response is so well written that I can actually use it without changing a lot. This is how powerful this bot can be if you are trying to learn a new concept or are trying to get a different opinion. Now with the same prompt, you can add your limitations. For example, in here, I can tell chat to be as brief as possible and it will reduce the number of words but will keep the essence of the explanation. Another prompt that you can use if you are researching a specific topic is to ask ChatGPT about a real world case study. I would go something like this. You are a renowned marketing expert who has helped various brands in growing their customer engagement. One of your clients is struggling to connect with the customers. Can you give a real world case study of a company that effectively leveraged the story behind the brand to connect with the customers and the tactics they employed. In response to the prompt, Chad has given the example of Tom Shoes and how the story behind the brand was able to help with the success of the company. Chad has even gone into the details of how exactly Tom's achieved success. So you can see how powerful Chad GPT can be, especially if you know how to use it. These text-based AI tools have just started coming into the market. And if you are someone who can experiment with these tools and learn a few basics, your skills would be very much in demand. Oh, by the way, if you think you are good with prompts, you should check out this video on the screen where I discuss Blue Willow. It's a prompt-based image generation tool that is exactly like Midjourney, but is completely free and with unlimited generations. You can create some amazing artwork through this tool. Go check it out and I'll see you in the next one.